Hey guys, Zach from See What's Zach here, and a very, very tired, drunk hockey mom. I should be sleeping, people. Yes, yeah, it's like three and a half hours past her bedtime. So, <laughs> she's gonna stand there and look pretty while I kind of discuss everything. Right now, we're just getting her in the routine yeah, of actually staying up late. Yeah. That is a word. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, the American Hockey League game's just finished. Uh, National Hockey League, there's one game left on, which is why I'm wearing this one, because we're about to do that one right after this one. But she's got her Wolves jersey. I got my Griffins hat. Let's get into it. So, the first game, Milwaukee goes in and beats the Rockford Ice Hogs, 2-1 to one in overtime. So, Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee Admirals stay first place in the division. No surprise, they get a little bit more of a lead over the Iowa Wild. You got Stockton Heat going in and beating San Jose, 2 to nothing. Uh, Zagulian, uh, I think I'm saying that right, Zagulian, gets the shutout for Stockton over San Jose, but San Jose, again, is being the... Worst team in the league. Uh, Stockton being a pretty good one. No surprise they go in and beat them. Charlotte going in and beating mm -hmm. Bridgeport 5-2. to two. So that was a big win for Charlotte. Again, to keep pace with the other teams in the uh, sorry Atlantic Division. McCormick gets a hat-trick for Charlotte in this game. So big game for Mc Oops, excuse me, McCormick. There we go. Uh, Grand Rapids goes in and beats Manitoba 6-2. to two. So big game for Grand Rapids. They move up. And again, they are within striking distance of a playoff spot, which is nice to see. Oh, that moved a little bit. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they were down here, down here, and then yeah, it's yeah. it's the vision from third all the way down to the bottom is pretty close. Okay. Uh, Terry stays hot, so Chris Terry has been really good for the Griffins lately, and Michael Rasmussen, who was injured, and I think he just came back the last game. This one, I think, the second game back. Is gets... it Rasmussen or Rasmussen? Rasmussen. I thought that was Michael Rasmussen. Rasmussen sorry. Okay. Uh, he gets two goals tonight, so that was a big game for him. That's awesome to see him coming back from injury and producing. So hopefully he can stay hot, maybe get upgraded to the Red Wings at some point this year to see if he can stay at the big club this year. Good. Yep. Hershey Bears go and beat Cleveland 4-2. Uh, Johnson Fabelli? Fabelli? Fabali? I always say Fabali. Fabali. We're going to go with Fabali. But, it's two for Hershey. But I, I could be wrong, folks. Oh, we probably are. <laughs> if there's one thing, if you guys watch anything on our channel, uh, pronunciation of names, not great at, so I'm going to screw up a lot of them. Uh, but he gets two for Hershey. Hershey, again, big win. Uh, again, that, that Atlanta division is relatively close, so big wins for them. Syracuse goes in and beats Rock, uh, the Rochester Americans 5-4. to four. Uh, Two game losing streak now for the Rochester Americans, who are kind of giving up that first place spot rather willingly at this point. Uh, you can't be doing that with uh, the Rockets being right behind you, the Sanders being right on you, and the Comets took first place the other night. Yeah. So you can't be doing that. Speaking of the Sanders, they go in and beat Utica for nothing. So big win for uh, the the Sanders, tying the Americans with 47 points and only one back of the division lead. So big win for them. Um, the Cord gets the shutout for Belleville. For Belleville. The Phantoms go, yeah, Phantoms. Yeah, Phantoms go in and shut out the Rockets. So, big loss to the Rockets again. If they would have won, they would have been two points back of the, or three points back. Yeah, so big win for the, the Phantoms. Pl kind of playing spoilers at this point in in the season. Again, you're kind of nine points out of playoff spot. You're looking at probably more being spoilers than playoff team. But Alex Lyon, do you guys remember him when he played up there in Philadelphia for a few games? Yeah. He gets a shout-out for the Phantoms. I know she doesn't. I'm talking to you guys more than me. But, yeah, he gets a shout-out. So, good game for Alex Lyon. He kind of got replaced with Carter Hart when he came up and showed he's going to be the, the starter for this team. I'm assuming in the next year or two, he'll probably come up and be the backup once Brian Elliott's done. That's my assumption. Okay. Uh, Providence goes in and be beats Springfield 5-2. to two. So, Providence, again, needed that win because they were sliding drastically back. Without that win, they would have been, they would have been facing a... <laughs> Tied with the checkers right now. <laughs> yeah, that was a big win for Providence. Wilkes-Barre Scranton goes in and beats Hartford. 3-0. Uh, they get a... Casey to Smith gets the shutout for Wilkes-Barre. Again, that division is really tight right now from first down to sixth. Really close. Uh, even Hartford with the 53 points is still relatively within striking distance of half the division. Chicago goes in and beats San Antonio 4-2. Mm -hmm. So the Wolves do win. So luckily the one jersey we have. And we have found some stuff. Some people have given me some ideas and a comment. And then looking around, we may have found some some items we were going to be buying hopefully soon. So we'll have more, uh, See, more read those comments, American people. Hockey League stuff. That's good. Yep. Texas goes in and beats Toronto. Uh, the back-to-back -back games, 5-3. to three. 
Uh, Patan gets two for Toronto, so that was the one thing I noticed. He gets two of the three goals for Toronto. Unfortunately, not big enough. So not only did they have to forfeit the last game against Texas, then they lost the next game. So those are two big losses for Toronto. Not looking good for Toronto right now. Uh, Tucson. Yeah, Tucson goes in and beats Colorado, 4-2. to two. Millet gets two for Tucson, so he, I believe I'm saying that right. But yeah, he gets two of the goals for Tucson. Millet, I like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the one there. So again, Tucson stays ahead of the, the Pacific Division. Bakersfield goes in and beats Iowa. Or should I say Iowa goes in and beats Bakersfield. 5-2. to two. Iowa... The Wild cannot get ground on Milwaukee. They they were close for a minute there, and then now Milwaukee's starting to win again. They've lost two in a row. Yeah, you're, you're starting to give them too much distance again. They're 11 points ahead of Minnesota. Not Minnesota, geez. Iowa Wild. I keep wanting to say Minnesota so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they're 11 points ahead now, I think. Again, I've always I've been saying that since we started covering the American Hockey League. Milwaukee's got this division locked in. Unless they really dive bomb here, they're, they've got it. <laughs> and the last game of the night was San Diego taking on Ontario Rain. San Diego goes in and annihilates them six to one. Yeah. Ontario got uh, gets uh, down. Ontario gets stomped two games in a row. So they lost nine. To, I think it was nine to nothing against the Barracuda the last game. Then they go and lose six to one this one. Ontario they're in trouble. I don't know what it is. I don't know if maybe the Kings yeah, are calling up anything. <laughs> but yeah, they just got annihilated from two teams below them in the standings in two back to back games. That is not good. You need better yeah. results if you're going to have yeah, any hopes of doing anything. Yeah. yeah, so to be... Yeah, oh, they lost... Because you weren't really... She wasn't in the video with that one. No. They lost nine, nothing to Barracuda. That's wild. Yeah, they got annihilated. But anyways, <laughs> that is your rundown of the scores for Saturday, January... What was it, 10th, you said? 11th. 11th. I was off by a day. I'm getting my days a little mixed up now. But anyways, we'll jump over to the uh, standings now. Which normally would have her read. That's what's going to be the plan. But she's she's. I could say the numbers. She can say the numbers. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Atlantic Division. Uh, Hartford has 53. Hershey with 51. Providence with 45. Springfield with 44. Charlotte with 43. Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Penguins with 42. Phantoms with 33. And the Bridgeport Sound Tigers with 31. You got the okay. North. Oh, is that North? The North, North Division. Yep. Okay. Thomas with 48. Oh. Barely holding on that first spot. The Americans with 47. Auto, the Ottawa very, Senators. Very, Jeez. very, very close. Senators, 47 points. I am, um, yeah, I think Senators will definitely take the division lead by the next game. We'll see. The Rockets are at 44. Toronto's at 43. Crunch at 39. Monsters at 37. And the Devils at 34. Over in your Central, you got the Milwaukee Admirals again, 58 points. The Iowa Wild at 47, <laughs> the Wolves at 40, the Ice Hogs at 38, Griffins at 38, Texas Stars at 36, Mantle and Moose at 36. Do you know who's that? That's the Dallas. I feel like they were at 36 in their game. That might be wrong. We'll double check that and update you tomorrow if that's wrong, because I think that might be wrong. I could have swear they were at 36 points the other night. Okay. It might not update you when she was looking at the scores, but we'll we'll check later. Uh, Moose and Chuba Moose at 36 and Rampage at 35. Your Pacific Division, Tucson's at 53, Stockton Heater at 49, Eagles at 42, Condors at 37, Rain at 36, Gulls at 32, and Barracuda at 26, which is your worst team in the league. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the rundown of your, I mean, that's that's almost as bad as the Red Wings bad. <laughs> it's actually one point worse than the Red Wings. <laughs> But anyways, that's your American Hockey League standings and Bang. scores for Saturday, January 11th. I hope you guys enjoy the content. We're getting a little more into the routine. At least I am. Drunk Hockey Mom is... He is. I'm still... She's Those gears are turning. She's trying. She's that old car going... I got, car things, going, rah, 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 rah. I got things to do. Yeah. She's trying. Soon. <laughs> Soon. She's up. She's in the video. That's that's a step forward. But anyways, yeah. if you guys like the video, give us a like and subscribe. This is Zach and Say What's Zach. Give me, give me a push. Yep. Push. Uh, drunk hockey, I miss me. <laughs> <laughs> we will talk to you guys again soon.